Hello and welcome to this week's video. Uh, before we start, thank you to Terry at Chestnut Products. Some stickers, a badge, and a sew-on badge for my wood-turning smock. Uh, except I haven't got a wood-turning smock yet. Although it is Christmas coming up. Oh, but I never actually asked anyone for one. Oh well, maybe next Yandel show. Right, um, more colouring. So let's get on with it. Hope you enjoy this week's video. Although before we get on with the um, with the video this week, colouring is probably a bit misleading. I've been asked to do a black and white one. Um, either on one of the YouTube comments or on a Facebook comment, and I just can't remember where, and I've had a quick look through trying to find it. So if it was you um, who made the comment, thanks for keeping going with watching the videos. Um, but I'm going to disappoint you because I can't do black and white with spirit stains. And given today's addition to the sticker ceiling, I decided to go with chestnut products. So I've used the spirit stains. I've used black and white. They're the only two stains that I've used. Um, I've got a reasonably pleasing result, um, but you can use this technique and use more interesting colours or indeed use black and white spray paints or acrylic paints. Right. That said, let's get on with it. Now, I want black and white. That's what I've been asked to have a go at doing. Um, but I suspect this is going to be end up more black and grey. But let's give it a go. Okay, now hopefully you can see that's lightening a bit of the uh, the lighter grain certainly is taking that on. Okay. Now I just want to move these so that they overlap a bit of what was already there. Okay, so we're going to go back on with some more black now. So I'm going to take it off now and see if we've got any difference in the colours. There's going to still be some bare wood left, of course, and I think I'm probably going to have to use white paint to, for, for that. Although there, there is definitely a difference between where the layers have been uncovered. Yeah, I'm going to mix up a bit of grey which is which is black and white really isn't it okay that's had some time to dry so I'm going to take these off now and then I think I'm going to just do a lighter grey over any bits of remaining wood Right, well I've got it on the bench ready for lacquering now and I'm actually going to use the high coat clear lacquer which puts a much thicker glossier coat on. I think that might give a bit more life to the to the colouring or the black and white and greying that I've done this time. So let's see how this turns out. Oh, 
Okay, so this is what it's looking like at the moment. Bit of finish on it. I quite like the effect. But as I said before, when I've done ash, I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the grain showing through, but some people might love that. So I'm just going to turn the middle out and give it a quick sand so it, you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Um, although, as I say, it's an experiment piece, so there's no back yet. Um, and then decide whether I want to keep it or not. And a rather gr rather grubby tack cloth, just gently wiping the dust away. Now, if I were keeping this, and it wasn't an experimental piece, I would do a bit more finishing of the uh, of the of the lacquer. But I'm going to take that inside, get some photographs, and whoever it was, was it Frank or was it Bob? Anyway, whoever asked for a black and white um, piece, uh, black and grey is the closest I can do with spirit stains. Um, I did intend to do black and white with spray paint, but uh, because I'd got the chestnut stickers today, uh, it felt on a bound to use their products. So, um, yeah, I'll get this inside. I quite like the effect. It's not as horrible as that big fad as there was in the 80s for black ash bookcases, hi-fi units, TV stands and so on. Um, but I don't think it's one of my favourites. But as I've said with other videos, use the same techniques, but just use different colours. Anyway, thanks for watching.